CTV Ferrari here in New Haven, Connecticut at Yale University. Long before the Gilmar Girls set foot on campus, Yale was paving the way for some of history's greatest leaders. So let's check out that path they paved. Yale University is located in the vibrant coastal city of New Haven, Connecticut. New Haven was founded in 1638, and since that time it has blossomed into a dynamic, thriving college town. Some Yale students get involved in local politics, while others enjoy the local cuisine. It was the birthplace of the American-made pizza and the hamburger. Where should we go for specialty coffee, you ask? Blue State Coffee, of course. It's a staple for Yaleys, as it should be. It was founded by Drew Rubin, a Yaley himself. Come on. The focus here is on eco-sustainability, social responsibility, and of course, providing the community and myself with delicious, fresh, organic coffee. It is delicious. Yale was founded in 1701, so the campus has a gorgeous mixture of neo-Gothic and modern architecture. The lush 342 acres are easily walkable. In fact, you can get from one end of the campus to the other on foot in 15 minutes. So we know that Yaleys are pretty well known for getting their study on. Luckily for them, there are more than 20 libraries on campus. Check out the largest one, which also happens to be the second largest university library in the country, the Sterling Memorial Library. Plus, the art gallery was the first in the country to be affiliated with the university. There are three major museums at Yale, including one with the largest collection of British art outside of the UK. When you're admitted to Yale, uh, you're randomly assigned to one of the uh, 12 residential colleges here. So they each have about four or 500 students. And it's a way of breaking down a large research university into a sort of more livable uh, environment. I found out about the residential college system and that definitely sold me on Yale, you know. There are only 100 people in my year in Timothy Dwight College, which is the best one, by the way. Um, and uh, I got to know those 100 people really well over the, the three years that I've spent here so far and they really are like my family now, uh, which is great when I, need, when I need some support. I'm in Davenport College, the best college. <laughs> so I'm in Morse College and we do all the Morse IMs and like everybody is always like Morse is the best college. Um, every college thinks they're the best college. You know, every college has its own sports teams and its own mascots and fight songs and you know, everyone has Yale pride, everyone feels like they're a bulldog, but you also gain a really sort of special kind of pride for your own college so that going through the four years of, of Yale, you feel that you have a home base and a, and a group of friends that are sort of your, your, your family on campus. With an acceptance rate of 7.5%, admission into Yale is highly competitive. There are no minimum test score cutoffs, however, the average students graduate in the top 10% of their high school class. Plus, the middle 50% of students who are accepted score between a 700 and 800 on each section of the SAT, or an ACT composite score between 30 and 34. The total cost to attend Yale, including tuition, room, board, and estimated personal expenses, is around $55,000. Keep in mind that Yale offers generous amounts of financial aid to those who demonstrate a need. With $110 million to give in the 2010-2011 academic year, over half of undergrads receive some form of aid. The idea here is not so much that a student would leave here with a completed major, but that they would have gone through the process of becoming an educated person. Yale offers 78 undergraduate majors, many of which have specialized concentrations or tracks. A few of the most common majors are political science, history, biology, economics, and psychology. Can't decide what to major in? Be one of the 30% of students who double major. What the students really like at Yale is when they come up with an idea. They form a little group, they come to the dean and to the professors and they say, gee, we'd really like to work on a, this particular project. And then we provide resources for them to have them work on that project. Yale is just shy of having 1,000 tenured professors. 91% of all full-time teaching faculty have doctoral degrees or first professional degrees in their fields. We have about a six to one uh, student-faculty ratio, so um, in all of your classes, you're, you're having really close interactions with, with your professors and your teachers, which just allows you to engage in the material um, in a way that you couldn't otherwise. The Bulldogs compete at the Division I level in the Ivy League with 35 varsity athletic teams. 
one of which is crew. The crew team is the oldest intercollegiate athletic team in the U.S. They've even won two gold medals at the Olympics. Look familiar? The Yale Bowl served as a prototype for the Rose Bowl and the L.A. Memorial Coliseum. And of course we have the Yale-Harvard football game. Uh, we just call it the game. Uh, and it's a huge deal on campus. It alternates every year between here uh, and over at Cambridge. This year's it, it, it's at Cambridge. So we're all going to travel over there in buses, cars, and trains. Uh, and once we get there, we'll definitely be shouting Bula Bula. This handsome devil is none other than Handsome Dan. Yale was the first university in the U.S. to adopt a mascot. When you're not hitting the books, hit the clubs. There are over 500 clubs and student organizations to join, like cultural organizations, community service, athletics, and a political union once led by John Kerry. One of the oldest and most prestigious is the Yale Dramatic Association, founded in 1900. Since then, it's churned out some very talented individuals, like Jodie Foster, Edward Norton, Paul Giamatti, and renowned composer of musicals, Cole Porter. Student participation in a cappella groups has been a huge tradition at Yale for more than a hundred years. Right now we are enjoying the musical stylings of the Alley Cats, one of 15 a cappella groups on campus. Yale has educated some of the nation's top leaders. In fact, Yale alumni were represented on the Democratic or Republican ticket in every U.S. presidential election between 1972 and 2004. What better way to reflect on my visit than with a stroll down Hill House Avenue, lined with 19th century mansions owned by the university. Novelist Charles Dickens declared it the most beautiful street in America. So if you think it's stunning, then you should walk it and Yale's campus for yourself. For University TV, I'm Ferrari. Later.